Hey guys, Biscuit here with another new video. So today, um, since we finished the How to Make a FNAF fan game on Scratch, I thought I'd do a little continuation with actually like how to get a following for your game, like how to get people excited for your game, and you know how to get your game decently popular. This tutorial is not like a guarantee your game will get thousands and thousands and thousands of views, but at least it will hopefully get like a fan base for the game. So when you release it, doesn't have like zero views or anything. So. Just to prove that I can actually do this, you've probably seen this already, but um, if I look here, this is, my fan edition is 5,100 views, so I, I know what I'm doing, this is 2,500. Okay, so basically, when you're done your game, and if you are, if you did follow my tutorial, thank you, that helps a lot, um, but anyway, once you're done your game, you want to start posting teasers for your game. You don't want to just randomly post your game out of the blue because then no one's going to expect it and it's just going to come out. So you just want to post like teasers for the game. And with these teasers, they should preferably be interesting parts of the game. Like stuff like this, for example. This is actually from a cancelled game, but um, this, for example, this teaser right here actually was pretty cool. It took a while to make though, I must admit, but the more effort you put into the teasers, the more intriguing they'll look and the more viewers you get. See like this? Like this looks pretty cool. So yeah, we did that. So that was the teaser for this and of course we put lighting effects over and stuff. So make teasers kind of like this that look very like, not exactly like this of course, but look very like cool or something, I don't know how to explain that, but in teasers you want to show interesting, like intriguing parts of your game, you don't want to just show boring stuff that doesn't make any sense. Now if your teasers are starting to get popular, you notice them being added to studios that you didn't add them to, that's a good thing, that means people are seeing your project and adding them to places. And the more teasers you post, eventually you should be able to get some people interested in the game, of course make the teasers interesting. Then after you got a following, you want to make a release date. This release date is just telling people when the game is going to come out, so this is when they can ex expect it. So then you can get a lot of people online by the time the game comes out. I always do release dates, I don't ever just randomly release it. Anyway, once, once you have a release date, what you want to do is I usually like picking release dates for Friday, Saturdays. Because those are the days that people are probably going to be most active on the internet. So pick a Friday or Saturday, a long weekend works better, or something like that, a holiday, anything like that. Now, what you want to do now is you want to, of course, tell everyone the release date. Because if you don't, that's going to be a problem. And then you want to make a trailer. This trailer, I recommend if you have a YouTube channel, posting it there. And for the trailer, just kind of get... Just trying to plan it out in your head first, I always find helps instead of just going into it. Like, show some gameplay, show some cutscenes in your game, show all that stuff, etc. And of course, put some good music over it. Now, once the trailer's out, you usually want to post a project that says the trailer's out with the link in the description so people can just see it on YouTube. And then, of course, the trailer should have the release date at the end. Now, what you can do once your game releases is now you should have an okay following for the game. Of course, you want to make the game look good. If the game isn't good, then you won't get much of a following. So just take time and effort with your games. So that's kind of my only tip with that. Take time and effort with your games. Now, once you release, you want to be kind of active and make sure, you know, people are reporting bugs and if they are you want to fix them fast because the reputation of your game can go down if you have bugs so pretty much what i do is i look at comments a lot for people reporting bugs and then when they report bugs i check it and check to see if it's a bug first and then of course fix it once it's fixed you tell them that it's fixed so they come back and get you another view on the game <laughs> that's kind of bad to do but it actually does get you a you won the game, so it can get a little bit more popular in a way. But besides bug fixes, what you want to do is you want to add content to the game. Because if you just stop adding content, the game will die fast. And by that, I mean people will play it once and it will be over. They won't come back and play it again. So you want to do updates to the game, mainly content updates that add tons of new content. I do tons of those for my games. If you saw the secret update for Puffy's Craft Check Validity, that was really big. That got a lot of people back, so 
essentially you want people coming back so do content updates but with these content updates you actually want to you know make sure that this content people actually like so like try to get community feedback on stuff like what you should add to the update and stuff like that oh so listen to your community a lot because if the community likes the game there's a good chance they'll make a video on it and the video will give the game more exposure so make sure your community actually likes the game and to do that listen to your like community suggestions and stuff like that just so you can make the game you know better for them and it what they want might not necessarily be what you want for the game but it will actually get a lot of you know people coming back and you will get a good reputation as a developer if you listen to your community which is really good now that's really it for the tutorial other than that don't go definitely don't go advertising to people like play my game now or else like definitely don't do this um you can actually get banned for self-advertising so don't go onto people's profile be like play my game don't do that because trust me it's just going to annoy them and that's not really and you could actually get banned for if you spam it a ton um another thing too is if you want your game on this page so if you go to go to explore this in trending right here you can see the trending games now if you want to get on the trending page you should probably try to aim to get a hundred loves and a hundred favorites within a week of the game's release so within seven days of the game's release you want a hundred loves and a hundred favorites this can be pretty hard to do though if you don't have like a big following and especially if it's like your first game you're posting this will be really difficult actually so this is probably something you might want to do with like your second game third game fourth game etc fifth game doesn't matter so anyway guys on that note hope you enjoyed and bye